adding the letter V. What does this truly mean to the modern Cadillac? Now you may move right towards velocity, and you'd be right, most Vs are fast as shit. Does it mean vagrant? Certainly not, because most of these cars can hustle and move really well. Now in the terms of the 2016 Cadillac ATS-V, V most certainly means vendetta because this car is putting the Germans on notice on how well America performance sedans are nowadays. As I will now demonstrate how well the ATS-V moves today here on Hooniverse. Now Cadillac claimed this car to be the dual purpose vehicle, which is why we tested this car first at Willow Springs International Raceway for Jeff's video. Uh, we did spend a lot of time with that car and the biggest thing that I did notice about it was how good the performance traction management system was. Now that we're on the road, I've enjoyed driving this car for the daily driver over the last week and I have found how good of a car this can be for everyday purposes. Now looks, styling, hot or not factor, this car is handsome. I really, really like how good this car looks, specifically in sedan form. Uh, and the same thing that with the BMW M3, I prefer it as a sedan over a coupe. Maybe I'm just getting older, fatter, a little bit more mature. This car doesn't fuck around in the looks department. It is aggressive yet subtle, but you can tell by way all the grills and the vents and everything that heat management and cooling were fresh on mind with this car in the developmental stages. We did not choose to have this car with the automatic. We are with the six-speed manual just like we had at the track and it is a sweet shifting six-speed, let me tell you. Now the ATS-V starts at uh, just a hair over $60,000. Uh, this car has uh, the luxury package, which gives you Bose, Nav, all that good stuff with that. Also the optional Recaros, uh, which are various many way adjustable, which is a whole hell of a lot of fun uh, to be able to have really, really good seats. And then the beautiful phantom gray paint. Uh, as tested, this car is $69,900. It undercuts the BMWs just a little bit, which is positive to me. Now, when any performance GM sedan comes out, everybody wants to refer to it as a four-door Corvette. It's kind of cliche and played out, but you know what? It, it means something because a lot of the technology from the Corvette is finding its way into other cars. You got PDR, uh, the next generation mag ride, the electronical differentials, and the most important thing that are coming down is the best part of this car, is its phenomenal performance traction management system. We are up here on beautiful Sunrise Highway, uh, so we're gonna call this Hooniverse Highway Hoonagrounds 2.0 uh, because we're up here enjoying this in the snow. It's 36 degrees out, uh, and, but this is boost weather, so we'll have fun with that. Now GM fitted uh, with the 3.6 liter twin turbo V6, develops 464 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of torque. Uh, this thing is a, a rocket ship. With the performance traction management, you do get launch control. So now I'm in my race setting. Let's see how launch control goes. Flat foot shift. Woo! Zero to 60, 3.9 seconds, quarter mile, 12.3 at 1.19. And I, I yeah, that, that was fast. That was really fast. I'm not gonna sit there and say what I went right now, but it, yeah, it, it, it moves really well. <laughs> the turn in, it has the same ZF steering rack that you get with the BMW 3 Series. Different tuning, of course. Uh, the way this car comes out of corners, power delivery, it's just a hell of a lot of fun. Now this car doesn't feel as digital. It actually feels a little bit more analog. The performance traction management feels very, very natural for this car. It doesn't screw around, it doesn't cut throttle, it just lets you smoothly apply power and it really works well with this V6 twin turbo engine. It's just ex 
extremely linear, easy to use, and just frankly, just, just perfect. Gia Performance has their stuff down, okay? Chassis is perfect. I'm going to say it. their Alpha platform is a perfect chassis, uh, and I cannot wait to spend some time with the new Camaro uh, because this Alpha platform is nuts. Uh, and everybody wants to sit there and complain, hey, why didn't this car come with a V8? This V6 is good. It's really good. Uh, it's not the most exciting sounding engine uh, that I've driven in, in some cars and performance sedans too, but it gets the job done. Uh, it just doesn't, the engine doesn't have as much character as some of the other cars do. It's a small nitpick. The gauges could be updated uh, to the same thing that we're getting with the Corvette and the CTS. You could have that nice panel, but you know what? I can forgive that. There's something I can't forgive, and it's across Cadillac's range throughout. I really dislike Q. I, I, I borderline hate it. It's so fumbly, touch buttons, piano black stuff to try to try to find your target to hit the button. It's, it's just not enjoyable. I don't want to harp on it too much. It's been beaten like a dead horse. Please, Cadillac, update your infotainment system. Make something more intuitive. Get Apple. Just let the tech companies that do infotainment do their stuff and integrate it in the car. And my complaints are done. Some of the hard plastics, hey, you know what? Even some of the BMW has hard plastics. It's not perfect in there either. But And it has a little bit more refinement in that car, but it's still really enjoyable. But, oh, man. So that goes into my come on my final thoughts would I buy this over a BMW M3 M4 I don't like BMW as a company I don't think they understand what their customers want Cadillac on the other hand they understand what their customers want and they implement the plan to make a beautifully performing sedan it's 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 a great time for American motoring I can't wait to see what this car is going to do into a second generation, uh, but for now, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just happy it exists. I'm just really, really happy that it exists right now. Now, the things I don't particularly care for, did you see that? That was the Cadillac CTS development car up here on the highway. So they're doing some cold weather testing up here. <laughs> What's going on, buddy?